Hi, this is Janet with Try It Like It Create It. And what I have in front of me here is a sticker that I took out of this package from Crafter Square from the Dollar Tree. And it has a kind of metallic-y surface to the top. I don't know, it feels kind of plasticky. And I thought, you know, I was wondering, like, how would this work with alcohol ink? So what I have here is a orange and a pink alcohol ink. And I just thought we would give it a shot and see if it actually moves and blends on here. So, so far it's not um, sinking in necessarily. Um, just adding some yellow here. I just grabbed some more ink. All right, and now I'm gonna put some blending solution on there as well. And then maybe give it a little bit of air to get it out into some of these areas. I like the yellow showing through and some of the pink. I may need to apply some more pink here. Maybe we'll shoot for the pink in the middle and see what happens here. If we can get that to go right in there. do a little more yellow on the outskirts here to see all right let's let that dry and see if it works. All right, so I have another one here I am going to try. Um, and this time I'm going to kind of pounce with a cotton swab. So I'm just gonna add some purple here and I am going to add some red on top. And then I am just gonna kind of maybe move it around. I know it's getting absorbed into my cotton swab. I'm okay with that. Just another application here. I'm wondering how this would work.
So my results here are not exactly what I intended, but um, to show you, these two are the alcohol ink and this is the acrylic paint markers. So um, you can see here on the rose that if you rub too much with the cotton swab, you're going to start to see um, some black come through. And I think that's the base of the paper coming through, although the backs of these are, are white. There has to be a black layer in there somewhere, I believe. So that's the rose. Then this one, which is kind of like a sunflower um, with the yellows and oranges and so forth and pinks. Um, I like the result. This was just pouring it on and, and blowing it around and waiting. Um, no rubbing, um, no painting technique. However, it did saturate underneath to the back side, and I really like the coloring of this on the back side. I um, wish that would show up more on the front, um, but that to me is really, really pretty. So I'm not sure how I would use this one or if I would use the back side here, but I found that to be very interesting and very different from front to back, uh, showing you the back of the rose one just to give you a suggestion um, and remember this one had a lot of uh, painting happening with cotton swab so um, it's showing where the purple areas were that I worked um, so those are those results and then with the acrylic paint pens um, I got the most coverage but um, I lost the metallic quality of it and I don't know if that's showing up it does seem to be shiny here in the light on the camera for some reason but in person it it really is not that shiny um so if you want that you would probably have to um put something on top of this to have that show up more i guess and then this is the back where you can see that it didn't really saturate through i think this is um i started with some alcohol ink and i didn't like what was happening i think that's what's showing through there um so those are my results with the stickers from the Dollar Tree.